Most of our team is upside down right now. That's embarrassing. What's going on everybody, Dragas here, and welcome back to another episode of Crossout. So today we're going to be playing around with the Hurricane Launcher. I'm going to be doing a bunch of different builds that are focused around this infrared homing missile device that shoots out four Hurricane missiles. I also got, in this creation at least, uh, a missile drone as well. I didn't know, but actually there's a machine gun drone and then there's also a missile drone. So basically I got... A very huge homing missile creation here. Now, this one you actually can't even play in the uh, actual PvP right now because it is such a high power score. There's uh, simply nobody else that is uh, around 10k power score, so obviously it's not going to put us into games with much smaller creations. But I can do some rating with this, so I'd like to try it out. I have actually haven't tried it out yet. You can see that I put on a bunch of these explosive spears all around it as well, so if anything gets close to me, hopefully those exploded as well. Uh, this thing's also almost 20,000 kgs of mass. Well, we got 18,500, so it is quite heavy. But uh, with these tank treads, it should work just fine here. You can see, not the fastest thing you've ever seen, but it doesn't need to be when I got homing missiles on it. But yeah, the idea of this first build is very simple. I'm actually going to build a much smaller build later on. But this one, uh, basically, I wanted to see if I could put on two different homing missiles on one creation. And yes, I can. There you go. You can see I just took out a 10k creation with one freaking shot. That is absolutely mental. And if we need to, we have the homing missile drone as well. So I thought we would start off with doing some rating, and I did that build really quickly just to try and make a very huge creation uh, for it. Now, the rating in this game is kind of interesting. Basically, it's NPC uh, team-based combat, and it's uh, how you get a lot of the actual rewards in this game. You can see, uh, for the one that I'm currently doing, you earn copper as well as coupons, and then you can make that copper and coupons into actual weapons as well as uh, hulls and everything else that you need to create these awesome creations. So we're going to get into a battle here and see how we can do with this big-ass beast of a creation. Okay, and here we are, and for whatever reason, oh, there we go, we got our fourth, uh, this is usually four based, or sorry, four player team based combat, you can see, uh, my power score, much higher than the rest as it should be, I mean, I got all this shit for free, so, we'll see how we do, I'm not gonna move fast, that's for sure, but we have to protect our bases, so I'm just going to chill in the back here, let's see if we can get some shots off, oh, right away, and enemy destroyed. Okay, we got Gork Mork here and another Raider. You can see my uh, actual drone is just auto-shooting, so I'm just going to let him shoot that. We got a bigger guy over here. I don't know if we killed him yet, but I do want to go and try and get that guy. There he is right there, and we should be able to take him down pretty damn quickly. <laughs> that was like 3k damage in one shot. Unfortunately, it does take a while to reload, so I'm pretty damn pointless right now. But uh, I'm going to try and use my defenses to wait for that reload time. There it is, and we're going to get the kill right now. Well, we should anyways. There we go. Attention, the boss is close. All right, so there should be a Leviathan coming, which is a crazy big machine. I actually tried doing this on my main account, and I died pretty much right away, and I just I just blew up my freaking spears on my teammate. That was not very smart. Okay, but I am going to save my shots for the boss. Uh, there's a raider over here. I'm just going to use my drone for that. There is the actual boss. So, oh, oh, I shouldn't have shot so close. My homing missiles I just freaking totally wasted. But I am going to try and take the brute of this force uh, away from my teammates because I obviously have the much bigger creation here. Okay, we have reloaded here. There we go. Let's start damaging him. Oh, man, this thing, the homing missiles, this is my first time actually using them. Uh, they're actually very slow, so if you have a fast creation like this thing, it's going to be very hard to actually hit it. And I think that's the biggest downfall of this creation. It's just so damn slow. I'm actually probably doing way worse than most of my teammates here in terms of uh, fighting this Leviathan, just because it's taking me so long to get back to the action. Okay, but let's get over here quickly. We got to protect this thing. All right, there is the main guy that I want to get. I want to make sure my aimer's up. There we go. And there... Did I actually just hit my own damn drone? <laughs> okay, but we did take the boss down, so that's good. Uh, let's see if we can find this other boss. I'm going to focus on the bosses. I'll let my teammates focus on these uh, simple raiders, just because I have the firepower to take down the bigger guys. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god, we're already defeated. I didn't even notice he was hitting it, and he took down 50% of the HP before I could even see him on my map. 
That is absolutely crazy. Let's try one more time here. I'm actually going to go back to my garage, though, and I think I'll lighten this down a little bit. It needs to be going faster. Okay, did a bit of reworking here. I actually took off the front and back plow and changed to these twin wheel designs just because I actually prefer wheels. I don't actually think they're better than the treads in terms of defense, but uh, it's a little faster anyways. The tracks actually slow you down. Uh, nothing changed in here. We just got the missile drone and the Apollo generator with the two hurricane launchers on the top. I feel like my firepower was more than enough, uh, but I had a little bit too much of defenses, so I actually added one more tier in the front here because that was wearing down extremely quickly and added a few more side screws here but I took off those very big um, truck slope fenders for the sides just because I feel like it doesn't really need it and they are extremely heavy so if we test drive this now it should be a little bit faster obviously it's not fast at all but at least I can get to the action a little quicker and I feel like that was my biggest issue uh, I also took off the actual spears just because I feel like I don't really need them I, I, I just like the idea of having a big ass box creation to be honest Okay, we're back in another battle. Slightly lower power score now. Actually, we got a team of uh, very low power scores, at least for this uh, high tier rating. So I'm a little worried we're not going to be able to do it, but I'm going to do my best here. I'm just curious to see if this is a little better now that I have the added speed. Okay, but I'm going to let my teammates focus on the raiders. Obviously, I'll pop my drone to help them out. I want to find the actual bosses. You can see that drone absolutely kicks ass, though. That's like 300 damage, 210 damage. All right, here's the actual boss. Let's get this guy down before he gets me down. Oh my god, this guy is fucking huge. Okay, I'm gonna try and keep most of my teammates... Whoa, well, I guess not. My fucking teammates just fucking blew up behind me. I was saying I was gonna try and keep my teammates safe with my defenses, but that guy is fucking huge. Look at the amount of weapons on him. For something like this, when you have to destroy leviathans, I think you need a team of well-working teammates, because this is way too difficult. All right, let's get this guy down at least, though. Oh my god, I think I do destroy my drone, so I found out what's wrong with this build. Don't put the drone in front of your weapons, because you actually kill it yourself. All right, I'm gonna try and... Uh, maybe I should actually hide. I feel like I have a powerful creation, but against a leviathan, it fucking sucks. Okay, so to fix my issue of me killing my own drone, I'm gonna pull up my actual cabin here. I don't like having a cabin in the front, but I added some more defenses. You can see it's got three tiers of wall in the front. I'm gonna put as much as I can on the sides. Once I'm done fixing this, I should probably... You know what? I can... Ah, uh, no, those things are gonna deteriorate. So I'm gonna put my actual cannons right here. Oh, not enough energy because I kept my one on the ground, so I just gotta move this one up. By the way, this is a 15 energy creation, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, I had to actually use the Apollo generator to uh, have enough energy to build this thing. Okay, but this is gonna be my final try of building my first real raider. Uh, there's lots of room in the back here, actually, so let's add another wall. You know what? Let's just add it to the outside. Uh, I wanna keep my front more safe than anything, so I'm gonna add it right here. Okay, I just gotta watch my KGs. We don't want to go over 20,000 or we immediately go slow. I actually like that I added that slope. That keeps my uh, weapons actually a bit more protected. I can't do it. I actually can't put it any lower because the tires are in the way, so that just kind of worked out in my favor. And this is 864 kilograms of mass. I believe that's putting me just to about 20,000. So let's just put this on the front so I can maybe crash into someone. 20,054, are you kidding me? Can I get rid of, I can't really get rid of anything because I'm using all this, of course. So I guess we're not gonna use that. Let's change that to this small plow at least though. Oh my God, this thing is so small on this huge creation. Okay, but let's just test drive this to make sure it's actually, oh man, this is so freaking heavy. That's the problem when you get to this heavy. I'm back at the same problem I had at the start where I'm going so damn slow. This feels a little bit faster though, so we'll try it. I actually should probably move these things down now since I did get rid of my haul. So let's put these somewhere like that. Okay, and I just randomly spawned into an actual match that's already going, so I'm gonna come over here and see what I can do to help. Uh, I believe the stranger is the Leviathan, so I'm gonna actually aim up for him. Let's let those rockets go off. Come on, hit most of them, hit most of them. There we go, and there we go. We got one boss down. So I did actually destroy that Leviathan, so I guess that's a success, because Leviathans are pretty damn difficult to kill. Oh god, there's something behind me. Okay. Oh, this is not good. I got a Leviathan behind me, and this thing is very slow at turning now. Okay, can I hit him? Can I hit him? There we go. Let's let this thing go. Most of my rockets, unfortunately, hit that, and uh, somehow they totally missed Alex. So these rockets seem, seem to have somewhat of a mind of their own sometimes. 
Okay, there we go. The final Leviathan. Can we do this? Let's try. Come on. Please, rockets, make it over there. The stick. What the hell? They went fucking behind it. All right, let's return the battle really quickly here. I don't know if we're going to be able to protect it. Okay, here comes the Leviathan. Let's start seriously hitting him. And I think I destroyed my drone once again, so I don't know how you deal with that issue. Oh, God, I should probably run away. I can't really run away. I mean, I am light now, at least, so I'm a little bit faster. Let's let this side go to him because that's my only armor left. All right, come on, turn around. No, you have got to be kidding me. I think we lost. Uh, that was mostly my fault. Is this guy floating? What is going on here? How is this guy? I, I, I don't even know how he's moving. And we got defeated. So yeah, this is a raid build. I'm going to say it's not awful. It's just you really need a very high tiered team to do well. And I didn't really do well either. I'm not saying, you know, it's all my team's fault. This thing isn't the best design, but it was fun to try. This is more, you know, trying out these hurricane launchers to see what they're good at. Now I'm going to build a much smaller design and maybe just use one hurricane launcher and see how that does in actual PvP. Okay, so here is Dre's Pink Tank. If you missed the episode, I built this on my main account. I'm actually going to use this as a base for the design I want to do. I'm going to actually strip it down quite a bit, though. Uh, basically, what I'm hoping to do is move this in the front and then put my drone... Actually, I could maybe put the drone even in the front. Uh, I, I don't know why I wanted it in the back. I guess because I want it safe, but uh, you know what? If we can put it right there... That would be freaking awesome. Let's see if it's... Oh, I think it's one... It's one pixel too big, damn it. All right, I wonder if I can somehow, you know, make this so it does actually work. Oh, oh, did I get it? Oh, my God, I can actually put it in there. So maybe now I can put something on top of it and then really freaking hide this thing. That is awesome. Okay, I'm excited to build this. Oh, yeah, that's all I needed. Look at that. It fit right in. That is freaking perfect. Now I can actually build maybe even a little plow down below. Oh, I don't have enough room, but if I put something in here that will extend it out a little bit, um, I don't think the bumper will work. Let's look for something else. I guess we can always just use the simple metal boxes. So if we turn this this way, oh, I don't think I can connect it, unfortunately. Oh, I can connect it down there. Perfect. So that might drag on the ground a little bit, but that's no big deal. Uh, we're just going to do that, and then, you know what, let's put this... Ooh, maybe I can do something like that. I gotta actually see if I can shoot this, because you can see that beam might be getting in the front a little bit. And I didn't notice it's actually too heavy right now, so we're just going to uh, lighten this weight even more. Uh, I got actually an ammo rack to back here I don't even need. And we're going to get rid of these machine guns even as well. Maybe I can put a drone on here, that would be cool. Okay, let's see how this is right now. That's not too bad. Now, if I shoot this off, does it actually work? Yes, it does. So that's actually quite hidden. I actually really like that design. Uh, now I just got to fill this up with some more stuff because I think we got... We actually got four points of energy I can use. So maybe I could do a double build with this. I don't want a too high power score, though. That's my biggest issue. Right now, it's 3,800. I'm pretty comfortable with that. So I think we're just going to put maybe those light machine guns back on or something. Okay, so I'm pretty comfortable with this front end for right now. I was hoping not to go over 4,000 power score, but we're not that far over, so we'll see how this thing does. Uh, I opted for just light machine guns on the top because I could have put a drone on here, but that would have popped it up to like 5,000 power score, and I want to keep this tank like almost an artillery tank, uh, but I also want to keep the power score a little low. Now, the only thing we need to do now is actually paint this bad boy pink again because pink is oh, I don't think that's the same pink where the hell is the other pink gamma rays is that the one I used uh, that's not even the right one either god damn there's actually a lot of colors in this game okay you know what I have changed my mind I decided to make the golden tank here I hope this doesn't you know make me stand out too much I mean it's a golden tank of course it's gonna make me stand out too much but I I can't not do a golden tank come on now Oh, man, look at it. It's freaking beautiful. Now, there's still a few th pink things in here. I don't know if I got everything, but you know what? Most of it's golden. That is fucking awesome looking. That is actually really nice gold, too. Anyways, taking it for a quick test drive here. The front, eh, it's kind of ugly, to be honest, but you know what? It's golden. It looks automatically awesome now. So, yeah, we got the machine guns doing, obviously, a very small amount of damage, but when we want to do some serious damage... We can obviously do that, and that's like a thousand damage right there. That is fucking awesome. This thing's gonna kick ass. Okay, and here we are in our first game. It looks like the uh, power scores are extremely close. And that's one thing I want to praise this game for. The matchmaking is extremely well done. Uh, you're playing with a lot of likewise vehicles in terms of power score. Now, the balancing could be improved. Ol Olivia, what the fuck? There's bots for you right there. <laughs> Seriously. But yeah, there could be some balancing, but in terms of power score, this game does a really good job at matchmaking you with like 
wise uh, vehicles. Anyways, it's looking like the teams are pretty good here. We don't got too many bots, which is nice, especially in high tier. Uh, doesn't really happen too much. So yeah, I'm actually gonna go up to the sniper zone. I feel like I should play this more like artillery because if people get close to me, all I got is light machine guns to deal with it. So yeah, I'm gonna use this more like a sniper than anything else. Obviously a very easy sniper because I don't even have to aim. Looks like there's another guy doing the same thing as me over here. Okay, but this is like the ultimate snipe spot. You just wait out here and the actual base is right beside us. So you really get a good view of the whole map here. Obviously people get a good view of you though. Uh, we got Helen here. I may as well try and shoot her. Is that gonna do any damage? Uh, well, it did It did say I hit her, but I didn't show any damage, so I guess because she was behind the thing, it didn't show me. Looks like the enemies are indeed rushing the base, though, and they're gonna hide behind those, uh, blocks. I don't know if I should pop down and try and kill them, or just kill anyone coming up. Well, my teammate's jumping down, so I'm gonna join him so we can both flip each other over. Uh, yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna wait for help, and I guess we can't flip each other if we're both falling over. Well, this is embarrassing. My, <laughs> my whole fucking team has fallen, and I didn't realize you could not flip uh, allies if you are flipped yourself. So I was just going to jump on this guy, and we could both flip each other, but we just fucked over our whole team. Most of our team is upside down right now. That's embarrassing. And, of course, they are capping the base with our one teammate that's actually on his wheels. A moment of silence for stupidity. Because that is a good example of it. Okay, let's try that again without, you know, the brilliant strategy of jumping down this mountain over here. I like how we're on the same map, just to, you know, kind of remind myself of the stupidity that happened last game. Anyway, same strategy. I'm going to treat this like artillery and head up here. And hopefully we can get a few kills this time and not do anything too stupid. Once again, uh, looks like I, actually our team's capping the base this time, so that's good. Uh, hopefully I can give them some support here and uh, keep the enemies at bay. We've got Nizash over there. I'm going to actually hit him. Is he going to pull back or not? I'm going to pull back, though, because I don't want him to hit me. Oh, my God. These rockets take forever. There we go. Man. <laughs> Okay, kill assist. We got the disash guy. That was the only sniper, it seems. Oh, God, my teammate just fell down. You know what? You can just stay down there. I'm not going to go down and do the stupid thing that I did before. All right, we got two enemies over here. Let me actually get them in sight and see if we can kill one of these bastards. Okay, there we go. Pure darkness. That's going to hit the wall, unfortunately. And that's my... Oh, actually, he did come around. He didn't even notice that I was shooting at him, which is good. Uh, let's hopefully we can take this guy down. Oh, there we go. We got the kill assist for Bob and victory. So, yeah, I... Pretty much all I did was support the uh, cappers there, and it worked actually really well. Okay, and finally we got a new map here. It's actually looking like it's one of the new maps. Uh, I actually played on this a few times already, but I don't think I put it in this video. But yeah, it's nice to see some new maps. They actually updated the game recently, and uh, this is one of the new ones. I believe it's the only new one, at least the only new one that I've seen so far. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, cool. And we got a bot, of course, at the start. There's always some bots. Let's try and get this guy down. There we go. Enemy destroyed. Ethan. That, that was an easy kill. I don't actually know any good snipe spots on this map, but there we go. We actually got an enemy. Let's see if we can hit him up. Oh, God. And Madison's beside us. Another enemy destroyed. Madison's on fire. Can I get her as well? Oh, God. Where, where the hell am I being hit from? Is that actually just Madison hitting me? And there we go. We got Madison down. So that's three kills. Not doing, doing too bad so far. Uh, it's actually a very even game, though, so my team's not doing too well yet. Okay, three on three. You don't really get games this close too much, so this is actually really fun. I'm looking for the enemies. I haven't seen them cross the middle. I'm actually worried they're going to get behind me and cap, though. That's my biggest worry because uh, my teammates are way ahead of me, and I do not have the speed to get back to the base. This is a very big map, by the way. There we go. We got Crazer here, and I'm going to help my teammate out. Yes, come on, dude. That's that, that damage. Yes, he's totally down. Stop pushing him away. I want to get some hits off. Yeah, there we go. We got the kill assist, and both teams are actually capping right now. Uh, we got an another enemy right here. Come on, reset, reset. I want to get my rockets off. There we go. <laughs> Deteriorated the hell out of his front end. And we got another enemy destroyed. That was absolutely fantastic. Victory! There we go. That's what I wanted. An actual good game. I think I got four kills that game. Not too bad at all. Okay, guys. Well, that wraps it up for uh, me just playing around with the Hurricane Launcher. I hope you enjoyed this one. Gotta say, my impressions of it, not really for me. I like the idea of doing a lot of damage really quickly, but I don't like the idea of homing missiles because you cannot really aim your shots, and you do want to aim your shots to get that hull down as quickly as possible. 
Regardless, a lot of people say it's one of the best weapons in the game, and I can definitely see why. It just doesn't really fit my playstyle. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, just want to say thank you for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.